Hi, my name is Elias Kineser and the following demonstration is from my Citrix Zen App 6 training course. You'll notice also that with Zen App 6, replication has been completely moved outside of you know, a, a GUI. It's now completely off-shell or offloaded to PowerShell. So in order for you to replicate drivers from one Zen App server to another, you have to initiate a PowerShell script, which I showed you the syntax during the demo purposes. So what we're going to do now is bring up PowerShell, register the Citrix commandlets within PowerShell, and start initiating our replication uh, commands. All right, let's go ahead and minimize this and bring up PowerShell, Administrative Tools, Windows PowerShell Modules. Let's center this a little bit. Now, the first thing we want to do here is we want to enable um, the execution of remote signed scripts so that we don't get this error message. And we have to put the, uh, the allow the server to accept PowerShell commands, so to speak. So we want to be able to enable that particular execution policy. Now, in order to do that, there are two commands you can do, right? So I'm going to, again, copy and paste some commands here. Uh, but the first one we want to do is do a get execution policy so that we know what the state of the execution policy is right now. And I'm going to just show you this uh, just so that you can, uh, in your environment, right now it's uh, set to restricted. So what we want to do is enable it. So again, I'm going to grab another uh, command here. Now what this command basically does set execution policy remote sign this will allow us to enable the policy so that we can execute commands within so this is these are things that you have to um, to make sure you have before you can even start initiating any of these commands now once these are in the other command that we want to do is add all the citrix commandlets uh, so to speak into powershell so that we can initiate some of these commands. So what I'm doing here again is we're executing add uh, ps snap and citrix dot all basically so that we get all of these uh, command lists in there. Now what I'm getting here is just an error that basically says look you already have those so you don't need to add the citrix dot all they're already added. So we're just going to completely ignore this error message for now since we've already done this. I just wanted to show you how you would go about and the right steps to go about doing this. Now the first thing you want to do before you can start replicating the print drivers is you want a list of the print drivers that are available on this particular server. Now in the print management console here, we saw that we, we know all the print drivers that are available, but if you wanted an easy way to see those drivers within uh, your PowerShell here, if you wanted to construct that that particular um, driver in, inside of your script, you can initiate the following command. Now, here's what I'm doing here. I'm doing get ZenApp print drivers, and then I'm specifying which server I want to get the drivers from. Now, I'm pointing it to XA01. You can point to any ZenApp server in your farm and get a list of the drivers that are available on that particular server. So if I hit enter here, what it's going to do is it's going to show us a list of all of the drivers that are available on this particular server. Now the driver that we installed here was HP LaserJet 4100 series PCL6. And I know that this particular driver doesn't exist on XA02. So if we wanted to replicate this driver, we're going to use the following command. Now what I'm doing with this driver, it starts with start dash XA printer driver replication dash driver name and we we put into quotes here the exact name of the driver that we have that we got out of the list up here and then we're saying source server for this particular driver is XA01 so we know that it's installed on XA01 and I want you to replicate it to the target server XA02 now if I click on enter here it'll take a few seconds but it'll also it'll actually go ahead and replicate that particular print driver to XA02 now in order for us to figure out if this driver actually made it to XA02 what we're going to run is the following command get ZenApp print driver dash server name XA02 And voila, it took a second there. I had to run the command um, a second time. But you'll see that HP LaserJet 4100 series PCL6 has now been replicated to XA02. Now, there's another command that I want to show you here. If you wanted to get some help on the start uh, or the replication process, what you can do 
is run the following command which gets help basically on on this particular command and let's do this if, if I run the following command get help on start XA printer driver replication if we do this you'll see that it, it gives you basically some help and some examples on, on what you can do and what you can run now here's the trick now once you've replicated the first driver you don't want to have to do this constantly to every server that gets added to the farm while well, you can this is a script and you can add it in a normal script and just run it and it'll go out and replicate you don't want to constantly update the script and edit the driver name and it, it's just too much of a hassle if there's an easier automated way of having sort of like a master list that automatically replicates every time a new server gets added to the farm we want to do that and that's specifically what we want to do so the command that I'm going to show you next allows you to create that master list that you can you know, basically add the, the driver to a master list that gets replicated every time there's a new Zenapp server added to the farm. And that command is add XA auto replicate printer driver and the driver name you're sourcing it from XA01 so at this point if I hit on enter what's gonna happen is it just added this particular HP LaserJet 4100 series PCL6 driver from this particular server has now been added into the auto replicated driver um, list so that every time there's a new server it'll automatically replicate now consequently if you wanted to remove a particular driver from the auto add or the auto replicate list you can do that very easily by just adding the remove um, basically uh, syntax if I can call it here and the command will look something like this remove um, XA blah 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 and you know you have the HP laser jet 4100 driver here and it'll automatically remove it from the auto replicate uh, list now we don't want to do that so I'm going to actually just remove this and that's all there is to it from from PowerShell. PowerShell is very powerful. It gives you access to do, you know a lot of things that used to be maybe manual. You can script them, and as you can see, the scripting engine isn't that that difficult to figure out um, or be able to to replicate these drivers with it. So go ahead and build your scripts, add most of them to the auto replicated list, so that you can make your lives just a little easier. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to exit out of PowerShell. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.